Hey everyone, Michael here, bringing you the latest and the greatest PlayStation 4 homebrew scene news. The homebrew store for PlayStation 4 has been updated. So if you were previously using the homebrew store, if you go ahead and you relaunch it again, it should download and it should update. There's a couple of things that I saw in here that was notable. Number one is having this ability to press the option button to actually exit the application. I think this is really helpful and handy instead of leaving this application in a suspended state or then going in and manually closing it. The other option that I saw was this ability to set the default PS4 home menu in the store settings. So what this will do is that if you're inside of another application and you press the home button on your PlayStation for controller, you can actually switch back over into the store itself versus Orbis or the PlayStation 4's main menu. Another thing that I thought was interesting was, was that there is support now for external hard disk drives. So if you have a homebrew application that you download with the utility, then you can install that application back onto your USB hard disk drive. There was also a couple of fixes in here in regards to SFO bugs. There was also a new dumper path. So for games that you dump via the homebrew store, you'll be able to see that there is like a meta package, a binaries, and then there is a trophies. Let's go into the application and it should auto update to the very latest version. Let's see how this works. So we're gonna go update required, okay. And now it is downloading and it says update has been applied and success. Download and caching website files. Okay, so now that the app has been updated, it does say up in the very top that the store version is a 2021-12-26. What we can do now is we can begin to take advantage of some of the new features. So one of them is that if you go into settings and you go down to where it says set as home menu, you just want to toggle Orbis all the way back over to item flows on, and then come down here to where it says save settings. Okay, so you may be wondering what that does. So let me show you an example of that. So let's suspend this application and let's go over and let's go into PS4 Explorer. So now that I'm in PS4 Explorer, if I hit the PlayStation home button on my controller, You'll see it's suspending the application and then it redirected back over here to, to the homebrew store application. Now, if I come back in and I turn that back to off and hit OK, and we'll go ahead and suspend this application, I'm going to go back into PlayStation for Explorer and I'm going to simply press the home button. Now it just brings us back to Orbis or the code name that Sony uses for the PlayStation 4. So another feature is, is that you can now install these homebrew applications to something such as your external hard disk drive. Let's take a look and see how that might work. Okay, so head over to the settings and then we're going to go down into storage. And I've already connected my USB hard disk drive and it shows here as extended storage. And then more importantly, it does show that it says application install location. So if you don't have that on yours, then you can simply click on the options button and where it says application install location, you can add extended storage for yours. Now there are a couple of rules for a hard disk drive to use extended storage. I have those in to another video but basically your USB hard disk drive should now show as an application install location. Let's head back over to the homebrew store and let's just download test application. And now we're going to select install. On my USB hard disk drive, it is flashing. So now I should be able to 
come back out. And here is that application. Let's go ahead and run it. Okay, there is the Hello World. Head back and suspend that app. And let's close that application. And I am going to unplug the USB hard disk drive. And we should get a little lock that appears. And what it should be saying here is, is that to start the application, connect the extended storage device it's installed on. Okay, so if I hit cancel and then I plug that back in, then the application should work. And there we go, the warning sign disappeared. And cool, so now this application is working properly. It was installed completely to the external USB hard disk drive. So that is another new feature. And then finally, they've updated the dumper application that's packaged with this homebrew. So let's go up to an installed application here. And we're just going to pick maybe the media player here and press X. And we're going to go to dump game. And it will launch the tool first. And then we need to come right back into it. And also the recommended way to close out of the application is just simply by hitting the options button on your PS4 controller. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do that. And we can see that the application, it's not in a suspended mode or anything like that. It's just completely closed. And I can just verify that by hitting the options button again. And it obviously does not have the option to close the software. Well, I think that's just going to do it for today. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you for watching, liking, commenting, and sharing these videos. It means a great deal to me. Thank you so very much, and I'll see you on the next one. Michael, out!